So with, with time management, um, I know you guys have got a lot on like, um, sure you've got footy training, netball training, or um, you know, all kinds of other activities, whether it be music or sport, whatever it is. Um, so what I like to do uh, is I actually have a separate timetable. I know you guys have got your, your timetables for all your classes during the school hours. Um, just create a small one at home um, and the first thing you do is put in you know, your, your other commitments, so your training, your, your sport days and all that um, and it helps you actually realise how much time you have and haven't got on certain days um, to actually study. Uh, that way you, know, you put things in um, where they fit. You know, maybe I can only allocate half an hour to, to maths on, on a Tuesday or maybe I can only do an hour's reading on, on Wednesday. Um, but it means that you know you know when you have to do it and to get it done. Unfortunately, otherwise, then it just banks up and banks up, and you're playing catch up, and you're not going to benefit from it. Some people will study better with music. Some people will study better in complete silence. Um, I guess figuring out what the best sort of environment for yourself is um, is a great way to learn to study better. Um, when you start VCE, it's a really um, exciting part of your life. Um, people make it out to be a really big deal, so don't, but don't stress too much about it. Um, when it comes to VCE, it gets a little bit tougher. And I think one of the great things is to learn how to take control of your own learning instead of just sitting there in class and listening to what your teacher says and just doing what they do. You can also do further studies. Um, Maybe you'd like to get a study group together with your friends and learn from each other. You might even do things like looking at further resources. There are plenty of resources out there. Um, don't just stick to the prescribed textbooks that your teachers have given you. Um, it will really further your knowledge and you will adapt better when it comes to university. Um, procrastination for myself is a really big hurdle when it comes to studying. Um, I am constantly getting distracted, constantly not sitting down studying when I have to, but a couple of tips that have worked for me are to set particular times when you need to study. Um, make sure you don't make plans to see your friends, make sure you don't have work, then just have that as a very specific study time. Um, another tip is when you're doing your study is to set realistic goals. Don't expect yourself to sit down and study for 12 hours straight. Um, set little time blocks. Um, maybe you want to complete half a chapter of reading or one chapter of reading. Minimise distractions during your study time. So for myself personally, I'm constantly looking on Facebook when I'm meant to be studying. So my number one tip would be turn off Facebook, especially when it comes around to exams. Um, also, even putting your phone in a different room while you're studying um, so you don't know that it's ringing, you don't know you're getting messages. Um, and my last study tip would be to reward yourself when you've completed your goals. Um, just have something nice that you can go to afterwards. So as things are getting more serious at high school now that you're in year 11, um, maintaining a healthy balance between study, social life, physical health can be a bit challenging because you'll find that um, demands have increased in all areas, so finding the time can be a bit challenging. Um, I think it's really important to schedule time not only for study but for social occasions and sporting events because it really helps to provide a distraction and then you'll find when you come back to your study you'll be more refreshed and ready and ready to start working again. Exercise is really great because as you know when you're studying you're always sitting in the one spot. Have something to eat before you're studying so you don't have that excuse of getting up and needing to go to the fridge every five minutes. <laughs>